Well, you can see Las Vegas. There's the Fremont Street Experience over there. And uh, it's a sunny, extremely hot day. And the window is very dirty. The pool opened an hour ago. It's around 9 o'clock now. I haven't figured out if it's possible to zoom on periscope, which is kind of odd for a periscope. So I probably can't get any additional details other than what you can see from here. I haven't tried the pool out yet. They charge a $15 a night resort fee for this place. Uh, I guess so they can pay for the Wi-Fi and everything. Basically it's just a bogus charge to ramp up their profits because I booked this on Travelocity and thought it was what it, whatever it said per night and then after I got looked at the email confirmation more closely it said we may charge a resort fee based on your room. Nothing exceedingly special about this room or anything, but yay, $15 a night extra. The uh, basketball court down there, they've turned the baskets sideways so that someone, I suppose, can't just get onto the court and start playing. So I don't know exactly who or what would ever use it. And the fence across the way is smashed and half ripped down for some reason. So it's uh, not been kept up very well. Maybe nobody at all plays tennis. Now that I look at it, there's no net even on this tennis court. There's a, uh, uh, there's posts for a net on the basketball court and also on the tennis court in the far left. Yeah, everybody's charging a resort fee now. Yeah, that's quite possible, although um, when we looked on Hotwire, there was uh, a few deals that didn't seem to have a resort fee. It seemed to very specifically say whether one had a resort fee or not, and this one we booked through Travelocity just so we could pick more specifically the exact hotel and location, because we were interested in looking at Fremont Street. And uh, we figured out the bus system a little bit yesterday took the deuce bus which is the um, the bus that goes down the strip and isn't an express bus so it can take quite a while to get uh, everywhere getting through traffic and everything and making lots of stops uh, it's my third time in Vegas I didn't think after the first time I'd ever come back again it wasn't really ever a goal to get here but it's just worked out such that I'm <clears throat> probably going to come back here again in a few years. Because I've got uh, now a girlfriend who has a mother who has a house here. So it's likely that at some point we'll head back here for a vacation. It's actually a pretty interesting to look around, especially in the area. I haven't explored out of the city very much aside from uh, the, uh, the dam and the first and only time I've been at the dam, there was a, a visit from Obama, so they had to shut down the tours, so I didn't get to take the tour of the dam, I just got to look around the other spots where Obama and his team currently weren't. <clears throat> Next on our trip, we're going through um, uh, San Diego, or through Los Ve uh, Angeles, and uh, on our way to San Diego. And while we're going through Los Angeles, Bernie Sanders will be there campaigning. And I'm really tempted to stop in on his rally, but it's unfortunately in the evening and we're going through in the afternoon, so it wouldn't really fit well with our schedule if we want to get to San Diego at a nice time. So probably we'll just miss seeing Bernie Sanders, who I'm a bit of a fan of and should hopefully be the next president of the states instead of a loon like Trump. We were talking with the uh, the cab driver the other night about Donald Trump and he was sort of chuckling over him. Seemed to be a bit of a fan though, to some degree. You never know how far you can go really discussing politics with cab drivers and and locals even because on a vacation, of course, you, you got to be careful in other countries not to offend the wrong people with the wrong connections who could 
cause you to need an embassy even though you know it's such a freedom loving place like America I think Jerry's chuckling in the background a bit about that anyway the hotel room is uh, not especially exciting There's a bed, a door, a sweet door, and a bathroom sink, and a toilet and a shower. Bingo. Well, nobody else seems to have joined the uh, live stream but it is what is it it's a Sunday morning so maybe that's not too surprising not too many people on their phones does anybody out there in periscope land know how to zoom a periscope video probably would have to put the phone up to a pair of binoculars to do that and I don't have binoculars here so oh I know what I could do I can put it up to <clears throat> up to my camera, which has a four times zoom, but that would look really crappy. So I can't show you the hills in the distance very well, or the Southern Nevada Water Authority building, or the misters that are floating from the roof of that uh, little booth to keep their staff I guess that would be serving towels or something under there from croaking in the plus 35 heat it's going to be 39 degrees today we walked through the golden nugget I think it was yes not the golden gate the golden nugget casino to get here the other night on the uh, bus system if you uh, try to get on the bus to pay, you're out of luck because you got to get a ticket or a card from a machine nearby the bus stop. Fortunately, I read the bus stop sign before we got on the bus, which had was already there but not about to take off. The driver was taking a break. And so I found the machine and it had uh, a three-day uh, pass for $20. Or you could buy two hours for $6 or a 24-hour pass for $8. So we went with the three-day pass because we're leaving on Monday and we'll need the bus to get closer or right to the uh, car rental place on our way to uh, San Diego. The uh, price for the rental car was only about $55 American and you have to pay gas on top of that, of course. Or we were looking originally at taking the, uh, the Amtrak, uh, but there's no train from here. And the... Um, Bus Depot happens to be almost connected to this hotel, <clears throat> which would have been convenient even to then taking the Amtrak bus over to uh, Los Angeles. But it was about $70 um, for each segment, or no, maybe about $75 for both of us to go to San Diego by train and bus. But the other issue. Okay, no, it was more like about 150, so almost three times as much to take the train and bus. And the biggest issue, though, was that we would have had to have left in the middle of the night for the one that they were Amtrak site was suggesting. I forgot to tweet at uh, the Amtrak support people and say, "Is there no better way? Is this for real? What are you thinking? Who does this?" <clears throat> <clears throat> because probably nobody does that. At, at night, the uh, plaza lights sort of move those little lines be behind the plaza words. And there's a, quite a few burnt out bulbs. I'm guessing replacing them isn't high on their list of things to do since it looks super awkward. Seems to be some sort of flagpole or something beside it too that has no flag. The 
the uh, hotel way over there says it's 92 Fahrenheit or 34 Celsius at 9.35. Alright everybody, have a good day because I am. We'll talk to you later.